Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today I'm going to share with you my top favorite fragrances that Olivier Porsche created or the fragrances that he collaborated with other perfumers to create. And if you have watched my previous video in which I compared Valentino Uomo with uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo, you remember that I mentioned that Olivier Pulch is my favorite perfumer of all time, along with Jack Cavalier. I'm going to link this video up here or here, you know my problem with left and right. Anyway, I have for you some women fragrances, some men's fragrances, and yeah, let's get started. Let's start talking about women fragrances, shall we? Because uh, it doesn't seem that Olivier Polch is the sole creator of these fragrances that happen to be my favorite fragrances. But still, I'm giving a big shout out to Olivier for collaborating in creating these fragrances. So let's get started. So I have three different fragrances from three different houses. Let's start by the clear, obvious, Dior Pure Poison by Christian Dior, of course. I have talked about this fragrance before. This is the perfect blend of very high quality distilled jasmine with orange blossom. Mwah. Amazing stuff. And I think, in my opinion, this is the most unique fragrance in the Dior Poison line. Thank you, Olivier Paul, so much for creating this fragrance along with my other favorite fragrance that I'm holding a flanker of today. This is Bulgari Mon Jasmine Noir. I have here the Lux Cuisée Flanca, but I'm talking about the original Mon Jasmine Noir. Again, it seems that Olivier Pouls likes his white florals because Mon Jasmine Noir as well is composed around jasmine. The name suggests that, <laughs> obviously. But look at the bottle. My God, the design, the fragrance, Everything is amazing. This looks Cuisine uh, Flanca is pretty similar, but I still prefer uh, the other one, the original one. But unfortunately, I do not have it anymore. I ran out and as usual, couldn't repurchase because it is expensive. Anyway, another house, another fragrance by Olivier Pouge. And the third fragrance I'm going to mention is another one that I do not have because it is so expensive as well way over my budget at the moment but i used to own it in the past it is the victor and rolf flower bomb amazing floral fragrance contains tea jasmine orchid uh freesia i think it has some rose it is a burst of, of flowers it is a bit sweet you can't say this is a rose fragrance or it is a jasmine white floral fragrance it is just a mixture of all of this goodness i think there is a rumor that they used about five thousand flowers in the make of this fragrance i'm not buying that but i'm buying the fragrance because it's amazing however i've got two dupes for it that are way less expensive they actually could dupe this fragrance at 90 to 95 percent of course they do not have the strength that the flower bomb does because it is an eau de parfum both of these are an eau de toilette the first one is by chorus and it is the vanilla freesia lychee very close very close and chorus fragrances are actually amazing the other one which is even cheaper than the chorus is the aquilina pink sugar sparks and i know that this is the rarest in the aquilina line you really do not find this that often because whenever it's available people grab it it is that close to flower bomb and i think it is the best smelling aquilina pink sugar something flanker I love this. Now let's talk about some men's fragrances, shall we? First one, no surprise for any of you, Valentino Uomo. An amazing fragrance by Olivier Bulge. Very original, very vintage, still good, so refined. And it is something new. Something that you haven't smelled before in a fragrance. The other one is not that original, but it just smells so attractive so appealing and you all know you all know about the Dolce and Gabbana the one the perfume version or the eau de parfum that came recently last year I think this is a big improvement on the first because it 
maintains the original DNA of the fragrance, but it just lasts better, projects better. It is a bit more ambery, more rich, let's say. Another one very different from the Valentino Uomo, but still very good, very safe for any gentleman who is looking for a fragrance for day-to-day -day wear. The other fragrance, again, is different from these two. A very special fragrance again that has sadly been discontinued. It is the Midnight in Paris by Von Cleve and Arpels. I have the Eau de Toilette. He also worked on the Eau de Parfum. Anyway, they smell similar. The Eau de Parfum probably is a bit, mm, bit stronger. So still a successful flanker. I think I'd like to know whether uh, Olivier Paul also did the original Dior Homme before it was reformulated in 2007 because when I was looking at Fragrantica I saw that it was reformulated in 2007 and the nose behind it was Francois Dimashi uh, but I know that in 2005 Olivier Paul worked on the original creation of Dior Homme so do we still count it anyway i hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you found this reminder of these great fragrances interesting to watch fun to watch not so boring anyway i'll speak to you very soon until then as usual please be safe and do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel i'll speak to you very soon bye